like and subscribe, and you'll have amazing luck for the rest of the week. Hello, my friends. The sea is one mystery-ridden place, mostly just because of how inaccessible it is. Thankfully, we have submarines that can access some of the remotest depths of the ocean. And some of the stuff uncovered is quite interesting. Like this big fella here. A beautiful yet deadly natural phenomenon. And a castle that you'd rather not visit. Alright, let's do this. Lake of Skeletons India's Skeleton Lake, yes, that's actually its name, is home to an age-old mystery. Just as the name suggests, it's home to countless human skeletons, with the oldest ones going as far back as 1,200 years, some with flesh still intact. Several studies of the skeletons have revealed that a lot of people have succumbed to head injuries, which is quite interesting, considering that the collection spans more than one generation. How is it possible for these people to meet the same unfortunate end at the exact same spot? Who knows? Black Sea Underwater River If unknown skeletons weren't surprising enough for you, welcome to the world of underwater rivers, or more specifically, the Black Sea Undersea River. It has all the bells and whistles of a surface river, including floodplains, tributaries, riverbanks, and rapids, but with the added whimsy of being below a large water body, and it's not alone. A few other underwater rivers have been uncovered in the Pacific Ocean, the Amazon, the Congo, and Bengal. Unfortunately, more comprehensive studies of these rivers is almost impossible because of their highly unpredictable nature. Giant Siphonophore Giant siphonophores live up to 3,300 feet below the surface, which is to say they're not easy to come by. That's what makes this footage so remarkable, besides the creature itself, of course. As you can see, these creatures are quite long growing to well over 130 feet. That's longer than the blue whale, which is the largest living animal. Too bad the giant siphonophore doesn't weigh that much, so it usually doesn't come up in size discussions. Giant Phantom Jellyfish The giant phantom jellyfish is similar to the giant siphonophore in many ways. It's a deep-sea resident, highly elusive, and of course, really massive, especially when you compare it to the other jellyfish species. On average, a phantom jelly's arms can grow to well over 30 feet, which is enough to make the animal one of the largest invertebrates on the planet. Though, unlike other jellies, this deep-sea dweller doesn't sting, which would suggest that the tentacles are stronger than they appear, since for most jellies, a paralyzing sting is meant to safeguard the tentacles from struggling prey. A Monument It's usually not that common to find ancient man-made structures underwater, which is why this here is outstanding. But the rarity is just a small part of why the monument drew a lot of attention when it was first discovered in 2003, found at the bottom of the Sea of Galilee in Israel. The stone structure is massive. Researchers who examined it reckon it could weigh as much as 60,000 tons, while rising to a height of over 30 feet with a staggering diameter of 230 feet. To this day, no one knows the stone structure's origins and intended purpose, although some researchers think it might have served as a burial site. Ancient Roman Pills A pill is probably the last thing you'd expect to find underwater for obvious reasons. Yet here we are. Not one, but five pills from 2,000 years ago in perfect condition. Of course, they weren't just laying around on the seafloor in direct contact with the water. The pills were stored in watertight containers, which were effective enough to keep the water away for well over two millennia. And now we know exactly what the ancient Roman pharmaceutical scene might have looked like. Apparently, iron oxide, pine resin, and beeswax were some of the favorite healing ingredients. Baltic Sea Anomaly Evidence of alien life or just another misunderstood creation? Depends on who you ask. For some, this seemingly otherworldly object that was found at the bottom of the Baltic Sea is the ultimate proof that aliens have walked among us. Of course, they had their reasons, but the most prominent one was the fact that the research team's equipment, including satellite, phones, and cameras, would stop working anywhere near the Millennium Falcon-shaped object. Though, a few scientists had a few things to say about the object. For starters, it was just one of the numerous formations on the seafloor. The reason it wasn't so clear is that the research team used a relatively cheap and less effective way of exploring the deep waters. Besides, just because something can't be imagined clearly doesn't mean we assign it an extraterrestrial origin. Ice Finger of Death While quite an intriguing occurrence, the Ice Finger of Death is just as devastating as the name suggests, especially to the bottom-dwelling slow-moving critters. On the bright side, though, it's extremely rare. 
so these creatures usually don't need to worry about being frozen to death. Known since at least the 1960s, the so-called finger itself forms when cold and saltier water from the ice on the ocean surface leaks into the water below, freezing everything along its path as it sinks to the bottom. Real-Life SpongeBob and Patrick Turns out, the cartoon characters SpongeBob SquarePants and his friend Patrick aren't entirely fictional. In 2021, scientists bumped into the duo hanging out by each other's side off the New England coast. And as you can tell from the photo, the resemblance is almost uncanny. Sadly, the two don't necessarily get along in real life, according to scientists. The star apparently has an appetite for sponges, so it probably didn't take too long before he took a bite out of his supposed friend. Lost Treasure 100 million? 1 billion? Maybe 7 billion? Who knows, really? No one is really sure about the worth of the gold coins that were in the RMS Republic when it went down in 1909 off the coast of Nantucket, Massachusetts. The bottom line, though, is that it sank with a sizable treasure trove which, unfortunately, can't be retrieved. And that's not to say the ship's wreckage can't be located. The century-old remains can easily be found 50 miles off the coast, about 270 feet below the surface. Several attempts to get to the wreckage itself, and thus the treasure, haven't been so successful. So, maybe you could figure it out and become a multi-billionaire. Stonehenge, but underwater England's prehistoric Stonehenge has been a fascination since its discovery, largely because researchers can't seem to figure out exactly what its purpose is. But just before we can figure it all out, another similar site pops up, this time at the bottom of Lake Michigan in the US. The stones here are estimated to be about 10,000 years old and were certainly placed there during a time when the lake basin hadn't filled up with water. Just like the other more popular Stonehenge, researchers are yet to figure out what this particular one was used for. Giant Squid You'd think the giant squid would be easy to find, being the largest invertebra on the planet. But that's hardly the case. Turns out that living in the darkest and deepest corners of the world's oceans makes a creature quite rare. Who knew? Anyway, underwater exploration technology means we can readily marvel at the size of this massive creature, despite its elusive nature. And as you can see, it's exactly as advertised. The Incredible Diving Bell Spider So it turns out spiders can also survive just as well underwater, at least as far as this one here is concerned. Dubbed the Diving Bell Spider, it's the only one of its kind that can live and hunt underwater. But to pull this off, it has to get creative, since, you know, spiders aren't exactly equipped to breathe in water. The adaptation is all in the name, Diving Bell. For a fresh supply of air, the spider constructs its own dome-shaped diving bell, usually around plants. It then travels to the surface several times to trap air bubbles that it then uses to fill up the dome. This sets the spider up for days, as the dome can also carry out gaseous exchange with oxygen from the surrounding water flowing as carbon dioxide leaves. Squid Sacrifice Unlike most animals, squids reproduce only once in their entire lives. The countdown to their ultimate end starts as soon as the first egg arrives. That's because, unlike other egg-laying animals, squid carry eggs in their mouth well until they've hatched. That's not very ideal for feeding, as you'd imagine. So the mother squid will usually fall back on her stored energy to stay alive. And by the time the reproduction process is over, she's too far gone to carry on with her life. But at the end of it, she would have provided a few thousand replacements. So the sacrifice was definitely worth it. Loki's Castle Loki's Castle is neither a castle nor is it man-made. Founded in the Atlantic Ocean, the so-called castle is a group of five hydrothermal vents over 7,700 feet below the surface. Their speciality? Spewing out extremely hot water with temperatures of up to 570 degrees Fahrenheit into the ocean. That's hostile to life by every measure, so you would think no organism would try making a home here. But as researchers have observed, the vents are covered by white bacteria that feed on the minerals emitted, along with the superheated water. Antikythera Mechanism Discovered off the Greek coast over 100 years ago, the Antikythera Mechanism is one of a kind. And it's not just because it's an ancient relic. For a piece of equipment that's over 2,200 years old, it looks quite complex and well ahead of its time. But being so advanced isn't the only mystery behind the Antikythera Mechanism. 
Who made it and how did he do it are two of the biggest questions yet to be answered. The purpose of the mechanism was once a mystery too, but researchers think they figured it out. Apparently, it was used to track the motions of the moon, sun, and the five planets known at the time. Apollo Remnants 1969 was the year when Neil Armstrong became the first person to walk on the surface of the moon. Even today, the trip remains one of mankind's most iconic achievements. And naturally, everything that comes with it holds sentimental value to a lot of people. Case in point, the rocket engines. While humanity was celebrating the major achievements, the engines were rotting away some 14,000 feet below the sea, up until 2013. In search efforts led by Jeff Bezos, the engines were finally brought to the surface after four decades of being underwater. The engines will never work again, of course, but they'll always be valuable artifacts of an important moment in history. Giant Isopod If creepy crawlies weird you out, then you should be thankful that you'll never have to meet the giant isopod. The final boss of all bugs, at least that's how it looks to me. It has all the worst qualities of crawling creatures, but several times larger as the name indicates. The sizes usually vary though, but some of the largest giant isopods can grow to well over 14 inches long. To maintain their gigantic sizes, these superbugs eat a lot, usually to the point of being unable to move for some time. Bimini Road Centuries after it was first mentioned, the lost city of Atlantis is still a mystery. That's why any underwater rock formation usually ends up being a subject of heated debate. Take the Bimini Road, for instance. While the evidence suggests it was the result of geological processes, quite a few people disagree. According to skeptics, the formation off the Bahamian coast could be connected to the famous Atlantis. Pavlo Petri Like Atlantis, Pavlo Petri is also ancient. The only difference is, is that we know where Pavlo Petri was, which is a few miles off the Greek coast. And thanks to being underwater for so long, we can almost draw a clear picture of what it might have looked like 5,000 years ago, when it was at the center of short and long-distance trading. Archaeological evidence shows that the town could have lasted for at least 1,000 years before being erased by a series of powerful earthquakes. Until next time, adios.